Here we go then. We're going to try the Sea to Summer Etherlite XT in the Amateur Moor. I'm overdubbing this because my mic broke on my camera. So we're just. I'll talk you through it. So just popping it in. Um, had the yamak on the floor doing it this way. This is a lot more difficult doing it like this. If the yamak was hung up between two trees, it's a lot easier. You can sort of you can curve the mat and push it in. So just pulling the end of the mat in now. What I'm looking to do is get the corners nice and snug. This mat is longer than the Amok LW mat. So I've got a standard mat that I usually use that fits this um, quite snug actually. So we're just getting these corners in. Just feeling the corners into the fabric. There we go. See that's nice and snug in there. And that one too. So now just at the top end and we need to get the rest of the mat in. It's a bit tight so you have to push push the mat in and just gently do the zip. These are strong hammocks these 3.0s anyway. So there we go zipping that across. The mat is fully inflated you want plenty of air in it. So there we go last bit just push that bit of fabric in and the zip There we go, and you can see that's nice and snug in the foot end, and looking good. So, ready to pop off outside. We get some sound back now, a little bit. So there we go, so that's it hung up, so we'll give it a try. So we'll just sit back, it's looking good in the hammock actually, I wasn't sure it'd work at all. So the usual, just jumping in, get the feet in, I'm just checking carefully that everything's safe on the straps, and there we go, feeling comfortable, it's a lot more comfortable than the standard mat, it's not quite supportive, there we go, happy, happy chap, it's not quite as supportive under the bum it is supportive but not quite the same as the vertical baffles in the standard mats but the leg supports really good just pulling the straps up now for the back support there we go kind of chair mode that is very comfortable I have to say quite impressed with that just checking my legs there what I'm noticing is under the knees uh, it's there's not as much support as there usually is with the other mat so if you just pull the straps a bit like that there you go that's pulled those end supports up and that is for me that's perfect on my legs just getting it adjusted for chair mode now and the pad fully inflated goes into chair mode a lot easier obviously because it's not got the vertical baffles so there you go, it just you don't have to muck about with the air, you can just there you go, chair mode. Just do it like that. It feels a bit different in chair mode to the other one. It's kind of you're more um it's more of a bend to the pad as you can see there, but it's very comfortable and if you don't have a winter pad and you've got a standard pad, this would do the job for you if you're camping out for winter. You can get away with it. At the foot end, what we've noticed is that the mat on this, especially on the 3.0, you used to find the mat used to curve up at the corners. Well, this one's a lot flatter for some reason. Just adjusting those straps again. That's showing where they are currently, They're fully extended. And that is so that's your flat that is the flat mode the, the pad it's probably because there's a lot of tension in there it does seem to just come up a little bit higher than the usual sort of total flat mode of the uh, LW pad 
But lying on your back, that pad, that's totally doable for a, uh, a winter pad. But we will try it on the sides. Just adjust those feet. That's very comfy like that. And very warm as well. That's a 6.2 R value on that mat. There we go. Pretty stable. Nothing collapsing. So we're going to try on a side now. Now if you look at the way the pad goes, you can see it does snake down when you do this. It does contour to your body so it, do, it will contour it feels a bit different but again it is durable on on the side but it does move around a bit more than the uh standard pads with the vertical baffles so if you're a side sleeper you can do it but it's going to feel a little bit different it moves around a little bit more like a caterpillar but you can see there that's that's not bad what I thought would happen with this mat was that from the legs I thought the leg end would be sort of collapsing but uh, that's better than I expected. So the hammock strap sort of supports it well. You just have to adjust it slightly differently but it's certainly not collapsing. back onto the back again yeah very good that's so lying on the back there that is very comfortable so if you're a back sleeper anyway you can totally get away with that the warmth coming off the pads fantastic so so there you go it's a success. Just going to jump on out now. We'll have a look at the zip. There we are. So if some people like to eat their breakfast off that, and you can do that as well. So there you go. You're sitting there, quite comfy. You can still put your cup of tea on there if you're careful. Hop on out. So we're looking at the zip end here. So if you had to put the mat in with the hammock strung up you'd be doing this just hold that mat in a bit there's a bit more pressure carefully do the zip you don't want to catch the mat so there's a bit of care needed there we go just push that in there and this is totally up to you if you want to try it that's at your own risk uh, you know it's in, it's not designed for the hammock hammocks but for me it works and I've already got I already purchased a hammock mat but it's not a winter version and I bought this mat from a tent and I wondered if it work and it certainly does work so that'll do for me for Much now better on the foot end. look at that see how it doesn't curl up around the feet like the the other mat so that for me is major because I didn't like the way my feet were pushed together. I know the new ammo designs do have the mat flatter, but I like the 3.0 and the amount of times I use it, this will do for me. Very good, look at that. Straps about there support there the end go. of the mat the best. Straps adjusted like that spot on. There's side view. You can see how that snakes down on that pad. But it's workable, it's not collapsing, look. If you don't have a pad for the Amex, then I would recommend just getting their winter pad because it is designed for it. If you have a pad, a standard pad, and have one of these as a winter pad, a rectangular, it will work. There we go. So that's chair mode again. So that's it, folks. That was just to show you it does work. Thanks for watching and have a good week.